back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be putting together two different things. We're gonna be putting together my bedside nursery station, basically like a breastfeeding station slash newborn station. So I wanna have like some kind of like setup for baby and for breastfeeding. And then also I'm gonna put together my postpartum basket that I'm gonna keep in the bathroom. So we're gonna be doing both of those today. I am currently eight months pregnant with baby boy. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Caitlin. This is my second pregnancy. I have a daughter who's five and a half years old. I'm married, we live in Arizona and I cannot believe we're about to have a baby potentially next month. So I wanna get as prepared as possible. On Mondays and Wednesdays on my channel, I post like day in the lifestyle of vlogs. And then on Fridays, I always post some kind of like mom content video. So lots of like newborn baby content and prep content for postpartum. So if you guys find these videos helpful at all, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe, so make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's jump on into the video. Okay, so I am in the nursery, and the first thing I'm gonna do is put together this Bright Room from Target uh, little rolling cart. It's a three-tiered rolling cart. I've seen a lot of moms use a cart like this. I think you can get them at Ikea as well. I think Walmart has them. I think Amazon has them. So I'll make sure to leave a link to the one that I'm using down below in the description box today, but I think you can find these at a couple different places. Did you ever stop and think why well, spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. When I see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands touch Okay, that was very simple to put together. Very easy. It took maybe, maybe 10 minutes tops. And now we are going to stock this baby up. Okay, so behind me, I have all of these supplies. I have breastfeeding supplies. If you guys missed my last video last Friday, I kind of stocked up on all of this postpartum stuff, breastfeeding stuff. Um, I just picked these up yesterday and I have all of the things. So we're going to be doing the rolling cart first. We'll do the postpartum basket later. Okay, so the cart is complete and I'm gonna walk you guys through this and share exactly what's in here. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it's gonna be very functional and it also looks really cute. Okay, starting up top, we have like our diaper station. I wanted diapers to be a really easy access in our bedroom because this is what we're gonna be using the most. So I have newborn diapers right here. You guys are so tiny. I cannot believe we're gonna have a tiny little baby to fit into these. This basket is from Target. I'll have all of this stuff linked down below in the description box too, by the way. This is from Sunny Nest Decor. They're local to us and it's just a little bee. I thought it was really cute to hang on the basket right there. And then in here, this is an Ubi wipe dispenser. So I have some water wipes in there. These water wipes are great, but they don't come out of the packaging very well. So you definitely want to get some kind of like dispenser for them. We didn't use a wipe warmer with my daughter, so I'm not planning to use one with our son. In here, I just added this cute little, it's a boy sign just for decor, but it's not really functional. I just threw it in here. We have an extra pacifier. Who knows if he's going to take a pacifier, but just threw that in there. Some triple paste. This is a 
like a butt cream. These are burp cloths and they're big giant muslin burp cloths by Mush Mushy, I think is the brand. They're so nice. Look how big these are. I'm very excited to use these. So I have these in four different colors. This is one of those really stretchy swaddle blankets. So I just have a swaddle in there and then these are something to lay down to change him. I'm assuming we'll just be changing him on the bed in my bedroom, but um, these I'm gonna lay down to protect the blankets and everything. So that might change. We might need to get like a changing pad, I don't know. And then when we go to the second tier, we have some onesies. These are just plain onesies from H&M. I think this one's from my friend's shop, Forever French Baby. And then there's an extra swaddle blanket back there as well. This is our brand Lolly Co. This is the lotion I'll be using on our baby. It is quite possibly the best lotion in my biased opinion. But this is my husband and I's brand and this is a lavender scented lotion. Our products are very, very clean. We um, pride ourselves on being very clean, so that's what I'll be using on the baby. I have a cute little Slumberkins stuffy in here. It's like one of their little mini ones. And then back here in this basket, which this basket's also from Target, is my breast pump. This is the Amita Maya breast pump. This is what I'm going to be using, and hopefully I like it, but um, I just have it in this basket, so I can just pull the basket out, and it'll be very convenient and easy to grab. And then when we go to the bottom tier, I have this basket which again is from target everything is basically from target and down here we have some lactation cookie bites these look really good from um milk makers and then these are the booby bars they're <laughs> oatmeal chocolate chip they sound really good so i just wanted to have some snacks down there in the third section, I have the LV Curve, which I'm not going to unbox yet. I'm going to keep it in the box just in case I don't end up using it. So then I can return it. But this is how I plan to collect, like, let down. And then back here, I have some of these, like, gel uh, soothers. This is what those are. So they're a three-in-one breast therapy pack. I struggled with a lot of um, like nipple pain, breast pain when I nursed my daughter, which nursing did not work out for us, but I wanted to be prepared this time because I remember how painful it was for me. You can use these uh, hot or cold. So I feel like these are gonna be really, really nice. And then back here in this third section, I have some nipple shields. I use these with my daughter as well, and I wanted to have some on hand just in case we need them. And then I have some Lansino nipple cream. And then also I just got this in. This is another nipple cream that I'm going to try. It's called The Balm by Ingrid and Isabel. So we're going to give that a shot this time. And then back here are just some nursing pads that are disposable. Anyways, that is my little cart. I'm going to go put it in the bedroom now. We'll wheel it down there and I'll figure out where it's going to go. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. If there's something I'm forgetting or you think I might need, please let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate that. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. Okay, this is so crazy for me to say because if you guys follow along with my channel you know how much i have to sleep on the right side of the bed closest to the bathroom or sleeping closest to the bathroom is always my thing i know a lot of times women like their husbands to sleep here because it's like closest to the door but not for me i have to sleep closest to the bathroom but however when baby boy comes i'm gonna swap sides i can't believe i'm saying this <laughs> i'm gonna swap sides because over here we have more space. I have somewhere to put the bedside cart. I have the um, Halo Fastness. This is where he's gonna be sleeping. So it just makes more sense for me to be right here because I have access to this and then access to him. The bass nest is probably gonna be closer to the bed, by the way, um, once he's actually here. But for now, it's just sitting right here. But we have more space over here. But this looks really good in here and I'm very happy with this little project and how it turned out and I feel like it's going to be very functional and has everything we need to take care of him in our bedroom. Easy access, that's for sure. Okay, and then also I wanted to share because I feel like a nightlight sound machine is probably going to be essential, but this is what I was planning on using. This is the Hatch, I think it's called the Hatch Rest. I cannot remember, but this is like the adult version. We have um, like the 
I don't know, the kids' nightlight version in Baby Ben's room and then also in Scarlett's room, and this is the one that we have for our bedroom. It essentially does the same thing. Um, we're gonna be using this for white noise, and then if I need a light or something, I will use this as the light as well. So I just set that up. I need to get it connected to my app again, but um, it's right here next to all of the things. So I think we're set. Also, it's really hard to like film and talk when this, <laughs> this guy's sitting here staring at me. Hi, you ready to have a little brother? To be completely honest, we're in a one story and his room's just down the hall, so it's very easy for us to access his nursery. However, that was a fun project and I think it will come in handy during late nights and all of that. And I don't have to get up and go to his room or whatever, so I think it's gonna be really handy. But, but next, let's get started on some postpartum stuff. I just wanna get everything like put together in my bathroom. Okay, for postpartum, I'm going to use this little stand from World Market, which I already have. This is where I usually store toilet paper for our bathroom and like pads and tampons and that kind of stuff. So first of all, I need to clean this out because it's very dusty, but I'm gonna rearrange this so it's functional for my bathroom and stocked up with all of the postpartum supplies. So I shared all of this stuff in my postpartum haul video that I shared actually last week. I'll link it below in case you missed it. But for the most part, this stuff I'm gonna use, I don't think like, laxatives, ibuprofen. I'm just gonna put these over here and I might put this like inside my nightstand or something like that or maybe just on top, I don't know. But, and then like these, these don't need to go in the bathroom. So we'll just stick those in there for now. But all of this stuff is gonna go in the bathroom. I also placed an order on Amazon for one of the Freedom Mom, I think it's called the Perry Bottle. I think that's what it's called. So that should be in today too. postpartum care basket, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call this, turned out. I am still going to add that Perry bottle, like I said, when it comes in. That's probably going to go like right up here or something. You do get one from the hospital, at least I did last time I had my baby, but the Freedom Mom one just seems like it's going to work a lot better because it's like an upside down bottle. I'll show you guys when it comes in today. But anyways, starting at the top, I have this little basket from Ikea full of like lightweight pads. Back here, I have some longer pads as well, but they are more lightweight. I have that witch hazel. These are the Freedom Mom boy shorts, and then these are tux pads, which were so relieving when I had my daughter. This is the Freedom Mom healing foam, which I think works a lot like Dermaplast and tux. And then these are um, cooling pad liners, which I've heard really good things about. Down here we have disposable underwear or diapers or whatever you want to call them. I'm very excited to use these for this pregnancy. I didn't with my daughter, but every mom I've talked to says to get these. So definitely did this time. And then I have some really like large, thick pads down here. And then I still need somewhere to store toilet paper. So I have toilet paper in the bottom. Okay, Amazon just delivered this. So this is the bottle I was telling you guys about. It's the upside down Perry bottle and the angle of the spray is just so much better than the ones they give you at the hospital. The ones they give you at the hospital is basically just a squirt bottle. So I'm excited to use this. Let me open it. This is gonna be a yes for me. So basically you can fill this up with like water and maybe a little bit of witch hazel or something and then squeeze it. And that is how you clean yourself. Cause after you have a baby, you cannot like use toilet paper. You do not want to wipe. So this is the best way. And I feel like this is gonna be way, way, way more convenient. But anyways, let me show you guys where this is actually stored. So this is our little like bathroom. Okay, so I just added that over here. 
and I think it's perfect. So we are definitely set for all the postpartum things now. Anyways, that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I completed these little projects. We are getting closer and closer to being ready for baby every week, I feel like. If you're a pregnant mom, I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,